the image stabilization function there's something called IR in the camera this is with it on and I'll do one with it off to do it in walk full 1080p vibe action camera setting and this is handheld in the car without the waterproof case okay so I've noticed the mic is really low so I'm speaking directly into where I think the mic is just to see if it's an issue with the mic itself or the case recording outdoors and this is a view see how this performs you should hear traffic noise but I do know that the mic volume is really low hello welcome to another video so I've already given you a couple of clips there showing you the audio from the microphone itself but what I've done now is I'm actually doing a voiceover with a separate mic because there is a problem with that microphone in the Vibe 1080p action camera I've seen online a lot of people have complained about it having a low volume so there's uh, definitely something wrong with that but what I will do is I'll continue with this video anyway to show you the types of video shots you can get with this so I started with the inside the car video uh, the indoor video I'll have an outdoor walking video which is this an outdoor scenery video and outdoor water test video and I do a cycle ride section and I'll also do a little throwing of the camera for like a funky shot but overall this camera is not great the um, I've got another Goodman's action camera which is a 1080p action camera and I did a similar test with that just to show you what it's capable of so I'm using the same kind of uh, shots that I did for that video so it's a life for life comparison I'll put a link in the card so you can check out those other action cameras I've been looking at but this camera it's already a bit of an issue because the microphone doesn't record audio very well at all and um, overall for the quality for a cheap camera which I paid 15 pounds for I think it's acceptable so if you're looking just to get some b-roll shots or it's your first camera then there's nothing wrong with using it or if you're doing some holiday video which isn't important it's just memories then it should be fine you can see the video quality here it's not terrible but I will say mobile phones will get better quality than what this is getting however as an action camera you can do a bit more with it which you'll see throughout this video so I'm basically just walking around with the camera in my hand this is without the waterproof case and I'm just showing you the quality so you can see here how it shows the writing on this stone so this kind of helps uh, give you an idea of how sharp it is and there's a few little uh, shots that I've done just inside now it's a bit darker this is a funky moss wall so you can see there it kind of handles colors okay-ish so like lights uh, color skin and stuff and brights and darks isn't too bad so what I did do is after this I took it out to a, a local uh, river type uh, scenario where I checked it in the water so you can see here I'm basically dipping it in that running water just to check the waterproof case this time it's in the case and I dipped it in uh, about two feet of water and um, just to see if it was to drop in would it survive um, I've got a few of these cameras now so what I will do is my next video is going to be testing this to destruction so just to see what it can do and um, so here you can see this is into the water with the case on waterproof case that's supplied with the camera um, and this vibe camera is a 1080p action camera it's performing a lot better in terms of the quality of the image to the 4k action camera I got off eBay so if you're looking to buy a camera this I've just dipped it straight into that water it was very murky so you can't tell but that's basically in the water and um, so if you're looking at an action camera don't buy anything from eBay you're better off buying it from a store because they tend to have standards the Goodman's I bought was from B&M in the UK and this vibe is from Argos and I'm fairly happy with the image quality I'm saying it's 1080p it's definitely 1080p the 4k was basically not so here you'll see I'm on the bike now and um, I didn't take all the mounts with me so this is basically just on a mini tripod and it's being held in front uh, by a friend holding it and that's over his shoulder so I'm just giving you an idea basically of kind of how it would look if it was mounted it'd probably be better than this because uh, I'll mount it on the rear shocks so it wouldn't be as bumpy and jittery uh, but it's, it is acceptable there's nothing excellent about it but it's giving you some shots there that you wouldn't otherwise have um, I've also got a few other shots I'll show you now after this where we just played about with throwing the camera about uh, in the sky and trying to get some funny shots and um, it's got a case so it 
it's kind of a bit more um, better to do that kind of thing with where you can throw it about and you're not worry about damaging it um, it's performing well in terms of while moving it's giving you decent shots it's got a lot of jitter to it I've changed the position here to get like a top down angle again this is on a bike and um, so let's see how that looks and um, yeah I mean it's quite a small camera action camera GoPro style and it's got a small sensor so you can't expect it to do great things and especially for 15 pounds it's a fairly cheap camera as well so if you do damage it you don't worry about it the Goodmans that I got actually the one of the down buttons on the left hand side isn't working so that's only been about six or seven months I've had that camera uh, that's the Goodmans this why we'll see how it controls but this is basically throwing it up in the sky and trying to get some funky shots just to give you an idea of that as well so there you go make sure to check out my other videos about 1080p action cameras and see what you think <laughs>